Hey guys, welcome back to our video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a private server with Storm, and this is an updated video on the previous one because Storm v5.2 is here, and this new version of Storm has less virus checks, and you can also change your level and your V-Bucks when you're inside of the Storm game. And if you're not familiar with what Storm is, it lets you get every single skin and unreleased skins all the way up to Chapter 2 Season 7 and use them in your lobby. And you can also join your friends who are not using Storm on any platform and they'll also be able to see all of your skins as well. And this is really useful because you can get every single unreleased skin and OG skins as well. So you can troll your friends, you can post TikToks, you can post YouTube videos and you can leak different skins and cosmetics that are coming to the game. So to get the Storm Private server, you want to join their Discord server, and this will be discord.gg stormfn, link will be in the description. So once you're in here, you want to make sure you go to the downloads channel, and you'll see a link to download the Storm Launcher. So then you just click on this link, and this will download the Storm Launcher for you. So you can see it just downloaded, and then we're going to unzip this file. And then what you want to do is just right click on it, and then click on extract here. Alright, so now that this is extracted, you want to first, before you do anything else, make sure you are logged into the correct account in Epic Games that you want to use for Storm. So just open up the Epic Games launcher and make sure you're logged into whatever account you want to use for Storm. This doesn't have to be an alt account, you can use it on your main account, but just make sure you have the correct account logged in down here. So then what you want to do is open up this, and then you'll see two files in here. One of them will be a DLL, and one of them is the launcher. So you just want to click on the launcher, and then it will launch up Storm for you. Now you're just going to wait for it to launch and it'll just take a little bit. So I'm just going to speed this part up. So now it will launch up Fortnite through your Epic Games launcher and you're not going to have to do anything at all. You're just going to wait and it'll launch up Fortnite for you and get you into Storm. So now you get to this page, make sure you click on Battle Royale. And then once you get on this page, it should say Storm FN. If it doesn't and you go into normal Fortnite, then something went wrong and there's a couple things that you can do to fix that. So the first thing is you can go into here, go into your settings, and then go down here and make sure you're on DirectX 11 for the rendering mode because Storm does not support the DirectX 12 or the performance mode. So make sure you're on DirectX 11. And the second thing you can do is you can make sure you have your antivirus off. This can sometimes block this for some reason, even though it's obviously not a virus. But yeah, you can just check that and make sure that it's off. So now you're in the lobby, you'll see that there's three different things, Storm, Battle Pass, and Locker. You cannot access the item shop or anything. But yeah, that's pretty much what this does. And then if you go into your locker, you'll see that you have all the skins in the entire game. So you can scroll down and you can see we got all the skins in the entire game. And you can choose any of the skins that you want to equip. So we can equip something like a Renegade Raider and we can equip that and then you got the Renegade Raider and then you can equip something like the new Season 7 skin. So if you type in Chapter 2 Season 7, you can equip any of the new Season 7 skins, uh, even the ones that have not been released yet. So we got the Rick skin and we can just equip that and you can see that we got the Rick skin in our lobby. So you may have noticed that we have a level 100 and that we have 1 billion V bucks. So if you want to change these two numbers, you now can actually do that. So you want to do is go back into the discord server and go down to the set level in V bucks channel. And then what you want to do is click on this bot right here and then type exclamation point login and DM the bot that. And then what that'll do is you will give you a link. So you want to click on this link right here. And then you want to make sure that this account down here is the same exact account that you have in Fortnite. So mine is the exact same account. You can see that it's the exact same account as the one in Fortnite. So you want to do is click on confirm once you've made sure of that. And then you'll be logged in. So now you want to do is go back to the Discord and then click on this button right here. And then what it'll do is it'll say that you have been logged in and you can do all of your commands now. So then after you've logged in, you want to go into the set level in VBucks channel, make sure you're in that channel, and then you want to type in exclamation point set level to change the level. So we're going to change the level to 20. And then we're going to do exclamation point set VBucks to change the VBucks. So we'll make the VBucks maybe 900. And then if you go back to Fortnite, you'll see that none of these values have actually changed yet. So if you want the changes to take place, you're going to have to restart Storm. So you want to do is X out of Storm. So what it's going to do is it's going to verify Fortnite for you. So now you're just going to wait for this verified thing to go up to 100%. So once Fortnite is verified, you'll see it say launch down here. So now you're, when you're done with that, you can just X out of that. And now you want to do is open up Storm again. So click on the launcher 
and then you're going to wait for this to load and launch up Storm again. And then once you get into the game, you'll see that your levels and V-Bucks will be changed. So now you can see that the level has been changed to 20 as we chose in the Discord server, and you can also see that the V-Bucks have changed to 900. And another cool thing about this private server is that you can join other people who are in Fortnite, and they don't have to be in Storm. So you can join anybody on any platform, they can be playing on PS4, Xbox, pretty much anything, and you can join them. So we're going to be joining some random people, and we're going to be trolling them with all of our skins and other cosmetics that we have in the game. So let's equip a backpack. And then we're going to join some people. So if you go into your friends menu, you'll see that you have all of your epic friends and you're able to join them if you click on them. Like it'll say join party. So we're going to check out some people who are in the battle royale lobby and we'll join them. So let's join these people. And there you go. You guys can see that we are now inside of someone else's lobby with all of our skins and they can see all of our skins as well. So we can also change our skins to something else. We can change it to the Skull Trooper. And then you can make that the purple Skull Trooper. And they will see that you have your purple Skull Trooper in your lobby. And you can do all of your emotes. And let's clip some emotes. So you can do any emote, you can do any built-in emote as well. And they can see you doing all the emotes. So finally, if you want to exit Storm and play normal Fortnite again, what you want to do is click on this X button up here, and you want to click on Exit. And then once you exit Storm, you want to exit out of this command prompt thing. You just want to click X. And then what this will do is it'll pop up with this thing. So the second that you click on OK, it'll verify Fortnite. So you click on OK. It'll open up the Epic Games Launcher, and it will verify Fortnite for you. So if you look over here and you go to the library, it'll say verifying. So you can play Fortnite again once this gets to 100% and then you'll be able to play normal Fortnite and do all the normal stuff again and you will not be in storm. So that's the end of the video guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.